जय भारत थैंक यू सर अमित सर सिंस आई बिलोंग टू आसाम एंड लोन वॉइस ऑफ अपोजिशन फ्रॉम नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन इन दिस अपर हाउस I will not speak on major concern of inflation and unemployment gripping across the nation as my learned colleagues have already enlightened and there is a time factor is also there so I will like to continue my uh, <coughs> continue myself on the specific concerns of the northeast region as I was listening very first joint session presidential speech of mahamahim drupadi murmu i had a very high expectation that she would dwell ethnic diversity of the northeast region and its complexity sir <clears throat> assam was a single unit of governance except tripura and manipur when india got independence in 1947 and it was very rightly debated in the constituent assembly that ethnic diversity of the region would be protected and even the small tribes and their identity and culture would be protected in post independence era the tribal community of the northeast region had hope that the that their identity and culture would be protected under the guidance of mahamahim who is herself a tribal sir very sorry to say that now tribals are facing in assam illegal illegal uh, eviction illegal eviction the insurgency and conflict in the region have been the product of not not addressing the core issue of ethnic diversity and the people of the region had developed some hope when the prime minister told the nation that the long awaited naga conflict was resolved when the government of india in the framework agreement in august 2015 the president's speech did not reflect any concern on the naga conflict sir of course some development projects have been initiated but it is not mercy but very legitimate right of the northeast region however peace and development of the region will be sustainable when the government of india addresses the very core issue sir please allow me to highlight the very promise of the prime minister narendra modi who assured the six communities of assam to be given the special civil tribe status and almost the second tenure of the government is coming to end but no such intent has been reflected on the presidential speech sir a high level committee headed by the retired justice of the guwahati high court was formed by the home ministry in july 2019 it was to examine the effectiveness of actions taken since 1985 to implement clause 6 of the assam accord <coughs> and to suggest and recommend <coughs> measures as may be necessary to protect preserve and promote culture cultural social linguistic identity and heritage of the assamese people so the committee has submitted the report in february 2020 this report has not been released so far nothing has been mentioned in the presidential speech for the indigenous people of assam sir during the general election in 2014 narendra modi promised in a public meeting in assam that within 100 days every problem of assam will be solved but nothing has been solved so far sir i fail to understand the two powerful cabinet ministers who themselves are tribal and belong to the region are not pursuing the concerns of the tribe have they become voiceless or 
scared of the mighty notion of the Dio Narendra Modi and Amit Shah. Sir, the reason is represented by 39 MPs of both houses, which is bigger than Gujarat representation. It is always clear that the Prime Minister has been visiting the region very often. Oh, look, 40 times, 40 times, but can we say that, can we say that Moody has the same concern as he has for Gujarat? Sir, I have no intent to frame him for Gujarat by us, but they certainly mere visit should not be the parameter of <coughs> concern, but truthful initiative in the interest of the region. Yes, here I will like to ap appreciate the former Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, for his novel initiative of development of the region, though he was not frequently visiting the region. Sir, now projects are being inaugurated, as our leader of the opposition has rightly said. Those projects were initiated by Dr. Manmohan Singh, and now they are simply, they have simply inaugurated these projects. Sir, I will conclude, I will conclude but the famous say that the human being is not known by physical appearance, but honestly conceived intent of ideas and action. Thank you. Sri Vivek Thakur.